leaders from the two villages involved in the fighting have agreed to begin negotiations for peace. Talks have not started yet. They assured the governor that they will try to talk to their respective communities when they meet again on Sunday. But for now, they want the police to carry out a full investigation and bring those responsible to face justice. Those at the center of this trouble are five students from Makam Valley High School whose actions triggered the fighting. The community leaders also demanded post-mortems be done on all ten bodies to find out if they were shot before being chopped. Police too will do their own independent investigation. Women and children have fled into the bushes in fear of their lives. All primary schools, including Makam Valley High School and a technical vocational center, are suspended for an indefinite period. Tension is still high and police are maintaining a presence here. Ramu Police and MS-14 from Goroka have also been called in to monitor the situation. The provincial government will assist the families put the bodies to rest. The government will have to take ownership and responsibility to address the immediate need. The fighting started at the Muching Market over a can of Pepsi. It was alleged that a student from Makam Valley High School who was drunk went to a Pepsi seller and bought the drinks from him. He then demanded the seller to give him another free can. The seller then attacked the student. The student went back to the school and got four of his other friends and went back and attacked the seller. Relatives of the two sides joined in and the fight escalated, resulting in the 10 deaths. Mata Luis, National and TV News, Lay.